Hi children, good morning. Welcome back to our session. What sort of topic is going on? Light, reflection and refraction. So in the last class we have seen what do you mean by the reflection, loss of reflection, incident ray, normal ray, reflected ray. So today's our topic is about the spherical mirror. What do you mean by the spherical mirror? Spherical mirror is a curved mirror which is a part of a hollow sphere. Means, spherical means, we will say that our earth is in the shape of spherical, orange is in the spherical or a ball, it is in the spherical shape. Is it? Yes. Take a ball and cut it into two parts children. So, if you, if you take a, a ball like this, make it into two parts. So, what we can see here? We can see the curved part. Is it? Yes. This is one curve, half of the curved part. And here also, we can see the half of the curved part. So, this curveness only, we call it as here, as the spherical mirrors. Okay? Next. The spherical mirrors are divided into the two types. Those are the concave mirror and the convex mirror. What do you mean by a mirror children? Every day we used to look up the mirror. Ah, I am very nice and we will go it, we will make up it. Is it? Then what is a mirror here? A mirror is nothing but one side coated one. If one side it is coated, immediately we can see our face. Is it? Yes. Then what is the difference between of this spherical and a mirror? Spherical means here we can see the curved surface. But what we are seeing daily to make up our body, that mirror, we cannot see any curve. It will be the plane mirror. That is the difference of this spherical and also the plane mirror. Uh, have you observed on the spoon children? Take a newly shining spoon and see your face towards to the bulged one and see your face towards to the back one. You can observe the two types of faces. So one will be very, uh, what is that, normal face with the small one and one will be inverted one. Have you observed? If not observed, take your spoon and observe it. So here we can see the two types of mirrors on the spoon also. So now what do you mean by, what are the types I told? We are having the two types on the spherical mirrors. Uh, while going in the vehicles, bike or a car, by the sides we will be having the mirrors. Have you observed? What is that mirrors? For what purpose we will use? The back coming object, it can be caught on that mirror. How it will be? Very big or small? Very small one. Very far. If it is coming from far also, we can see the total, total uh, vehicle or any other object through the mirrors. Is it? What type of mirrors are that? Let me see. If you go for a dental clinic, doctor immediately he will take one mirror and he is going to observe what it has happened to our tooth. There also we are going to use the mirror. Is it? Yes. So, what type of mirrors are that? Why we are going to use? How to identify that one? Let me see now. So, the two types of mirrors are concave mirror and the convex mirror. Mirror means one side it is coated one. It's called as a mirror. So how many types? Two types. Those are concave mirror and the convex mirror. What do you mean by the concave mirror? A spherical mirror whose reflecting surface is curved inwards. Curved inwards towards to the surface of the light. So, take a spherical, make it into the half. So, you can see the shape of that ball or a mirror will be like this towards to the curve. Now, what we are doing here, what we have, we are going to do, surface is curved inwards towards to the surface of the light. Inwards, if we want to show the inwards of the light, so where we have to give the coating, coating should be outwards. Then, which the light is passing, it will be bounces towards to the inside. 
lighthouse mirror only we call it as the concave mirror where it is going to fall the light to the inwards it is going to fall towards the inwards see the light is going to fall like this once again it is going to bounce it because at the back side we have given the coated one this spherical mirror whose reflecting surface is curved inwards this is very important inwards towards to the surface of the light those mirrors we will call it as the concave mirrors then convex mirror a spherical mirror whose reflecting surface is curved outwards so the same thing the curved surface if we have taken which side we have to take the coated one inside that means the bulged shape which it is having the inside then where the light will fall of the outwards so when it fall towards to the outwards it is going to reflect it when the light falls on the outwards it is reflecting which type of mirror children it is the convex mirror when it is falling towards to the inwards once again it is bouncing back means which type of mirror is that it is the concave mirror okay now let me see how the light is going to pass what we call for that each and every point let me see in the next step okay understood this and all you have to uh, note down in your rough notebook children this one only we call it as the running notes this is very important than your notebook reference book running notes all we call for this one so must and should we have to maintain this for the next class we want to show it okay next topic let me go let me go for the parts which it is having for the concave mirror and as well as for the convex mirror so convex mirror means it is the coated inwards which side it is coated the inwards and the rays will be passing towards to the outwards the concave we have coated towards to the outside and the rays will be fallen inwards is it yes so if you take a ball or a sphere if you make into the half so how we are going to make it into the half taking off that center is it maybe like this that means horizontal or if you are going for the like this also we are going to cut is it vertical or the horizontal how we are going to take to by taking off the center of that circle center of that object is it so here also we are having the same thing this spherical mirrors we have made it in half so each and every point here which we are having that that means if you make it into the circle here then what will happen this point this one will act as one of the mirror and this one will act as one of the mirror so what we call for this of the point this is called as the center this point we call it as the center of curvature it is denoted by the letter of c so for the convex and also the concave where is the another half if you go for the another half for this half also this is the center is it yes so that center itself we call it as the c what do you mean by the c c is called the center of curvature it is denoted by the letter of c so here it is for the right of the mirror so right side of the mirror it is going to happen and for the concave mirror it is for left of the mirror concave mirror left of the mirror convex mirror right of the mirror next let me go for the middle that means if you take the mirror the middle point it denotes as for the pole pole of that mirror so convex mirror it is having the middle that is denoted by the letter of the p what do you call for the p it is the pole in the concave mirror also we can see the that center it is nothing but as the pole next which the line it is passing through the center and the pole if you draw a line towards this one this line indicates for us it's the principal axis so what do you mean by the principal axis the line joining for the center of the curvature and the pole if you draw the 
line, duct line itself, we call it as the principal axis. What is that? Principal axis. Now, uh, if you go for the concave mirror, uh, the rays are passing inside, inside. So, if the rays are passing like this, then what it will happen children? It is going to bounce back. So, coming back towards like this, where these lines, that means the rays are going to meet. That is called that uh, focus. That means which it is having that focus is nothing but as the F. That is called principal focus. What is that? Principal focus. It is denoted by the letter as F. So that is the inverse. Then what about here? It is going to come towards to the out. Because inner side we have where we have quoted. So where it is going to meet the point. That point itself we call it as the principal focus. What is that? It is the principal focus. Then the distance between what is this point we have told already? It's the pole. The distance between the pole and where these arrays it has meted for us. That is the principal focus. The distance between the pole and the principal focus we call it as the focal length. We call it as the focal length. This is denoted by the small f. It is denoted by the small f. What do you mean by the focal length? The distance between the pole and where the rays are going to meet at a point. That point is nothing but the principal focus. The distance between the pole and the principal focus. What we are going to measure that one? That distance we call it as the focal length. That is denoted by the small f. Okay. Next children. Aperture. What do you mean by the aperture? See here the top edge and towards the edge of this curve. From the top to the down part. If you draw a line, that line is nothing but the aperture of a sphere. That is called as the aperture of a sphere. Then let me go for what do you mean by the radius of curvature. So if you take a circle, this is the center of, of our circle. Then this is called radius. This is called radius. This is called radius. Wherever we are going to draw that part we call. That means all over a circle the radius will be the same. Here also the same. This one we have taken the half part of the sphere. So the center of the the center of the curvature and where we are having the pole, that distance itself we can call it as the R, that distance. So center of the curvature and the pole where we are having the distance, we call it as the we call it as the radius of curvature. We call it as radius of curvature. To find the radius of the curvature, R is equal to 2 into F. So, 2 times of the focal length is equals to our radius of curvature. Understood children? These are the parts which we are having for the convex mirror and the concave mirror. Let me glance once. Let me glance once children. Yes. So, for the convex, only one thing I am going to take. So, the half of the circle, that means it is coded towards to the inside. Inside coded one, we call it as the convex mirror. Then, the center of the, which we have taken the circle, this one we call it as, what we call, center of the curvature. It is denoted by the letter as C. And the center of the mirror, we call it as the pole. It is denoted by the P letter. Then where these two points are going to meet and draw a line, this line itself we call it as the principal axis. What we call principal axis. Then when the uh, light rays are going to move and fall towards where it is going to meet, that point itself we call it as the principal focus. The distance between the pole and the principal focus, we call it as the focal length. The distance between the pole and the principal focus, we call it as the focal length. 
and the radius uh, sorry where the the tips we are going to join this line we call it as the apex we call it as apex the distance between the pole and the center we call it as radius of curvature so to find the radius of curvature we are going to multiply with the focal length into 2 so if you do this one we are going to get the radius of that convex or the concave mirror so i think you have understood still any doubts or that you can clarify me and in the next class let me try to draw the ray diagrams by using of the convex and the concave mirrors okay thank you children let we see now about the spherical mirrors what do you mean by spherical mirror a mirror in which reflecting surfaces are spherical or called spherical mirror so in this we are having the two types of the mirror that is the concave mirror and convex mirror what do you mean by concave mirror a spherical mirror whose reflecting surface is curved inwards that means the faces towards the center of the sphere is called as the concave mirror so which it is coated as the outside reflecting surface will be towards to the inside convex mirror a spherical mirror whose reflecting surface is curved outwards is called as the convex mirror so it has outwards and the reflecting surface will be like this next what do you mean by pole of the mirror the center of the reflecting surface of a spherical mirror is the point called the pole yes so here you can see the pole of the convex and concave mirror center of curvature the center of the sphere of which the reflecting surface of a spherical mirror forms a part of a sphere is called center of the curvature so if you take the circle the center point the point itself indicates the center of curvature next radius of curvature the radius of the sphere of which the reflecting surface of a spherical mirror forms a part is called the radius of curvature of the mirror so how we are taking to the circumference and center of the circle what is the distance we are having that one itself we call it as the radius of the curvature principal axis the straight line passing through the center of curvature and pole of the spherical mirror produced on both sides is called as the principal axis here we can see the concave mirror and convex mirror of the principal axis that means the point which it is joining the center of the curvature and the pole that line only we call it as the principal axis focus of concave mirror the point on principal axis where all the parallel lights of the, the reflection actually meet at a point is called as the focus so where the lines are coming so these lines are coming and it is getting the reflected one so where it is meeting that point we call it as the focus okay so these are the points for this class and these point note down in your homework notebook children it's very important points for you okay thank you